Before beginning the installation, check to see that you have all the parts along with the proper tools. Also, evaluate your skill level. Always keep in mind that improper installation will void your warranty. Our shops tell us if you can do a brake job, you should be able to install this kit. Be sure to follow all the manufacturer's recommendations for the safe placement of lifting and supporting devices. Hi, I'm Sam Mamolo. You probably know me from the TV show Two Guys Garage and Shade Tree Mechanic. Well, you know, this is a grand marquee. You've seen tons of these cars. Crown Victoria, Lincoln Town Car. They all have certain things in common. They've got air suspension, and they've got leaky air suspension. You see them all over town, sitting in driveways, the back of the car down. And you know that's an exhausting and expensive system to fix. You can go to Strutmasters and get an air to non-air conversion. What you get in the Strutmasters kit is two specially engineered rear springs that go right in. Of course, you get a catalog and you get a nice set of instructions. What you want to do is don't be like me and you. You try to put things together, then you look at the instructions. Read the instructions. Very easy. You can do this job in less than half an hour. In fact, once you've done a couple of these, you can knock it out in no time. And I tell you, you won't have a comeback, which is real important, and your customer is going to be happy. Remember, strut masses, they're the people for your suspension needs. All right, to install our strut masses kit is very simple. Follow the instructions. First thing is, we're going to turn off the switch in the trunk so the air system doesn't work. You get these cars in with a lot of age on them. The bags are all rotted out. There's no air in them, but you want to be careful. The first thing it tells us to do is, when the vehicle's up and secure, if you're not using a good lift, if you're using a jack, make sure you're safe and you've got stands, eye protection, okay? There's a solenoid here. We want to unplug the solenoid, the clip, push the solenoid, a little bit of a turn to the counterclockwise or to the left. You bleed off any air in the system. Another turn to the left, the solenoid comes off the bag. You can tape that whole thing up. You can cut it off, cut the wires off. Your choice, whatever you want to do. We're not going to use it again with the strut masters air to non-air conversion. Once that's done, again, you got your old airbag here. It's standing on top of the axle tube, comes up here. Again, we only need a couple tools, needle nose pliers. Locate the clip at the top of the airbag, right up here at the top. Grab a hold of it, one tug, and you've got it out. All right, our next move is the vehicle's up. We're on the locks on the lift. Again, if you're doing this on the ground, make sure you've got uh, jack stands, eye protection. And it's real simple. We take care of our airbag. We just push it up. Pops off the bottom. You collapse it. And then you pull it down like this. And you can see in this airbag, it sits in the car like this. So when you're looking at it, you don't see where it really fatigues on the working end right there, down to the cords. This is just like a big truck airbag or any airbag. That's where the leaks are going to be, and you can chase those for a long time. This is the solenoid I was referring to right here. It plugs into the airbag. Now, you don't need that unless somebody's going to restore this car to air suspension, which will probably never happen. Take your clip off. Push the solenoid in. If you watch it, you push it in and turn it, and then it comes out, but it locks. That'll exhaust any air that's left in the system. Protect your eyes if there's anything left in it. Then another turn, and it comes out. Again, you can leave the connector, you can leave the solenoid. The choice is yours. Now we're ready for our strut masses spring, but there's one thing you want to look at right here. Sometimes the little retainer, it's part of the airbag, stays in here. If that stays here, you want to pry it out. Okay, our next step is to take our strut master spring. Remember, strut masters to the top or the dot to the top. Orient two open end of the spring in the same place on each side. Place it up over your top spring mount like that. Lay it up here. With the shock disconnected, you can usually pull down on the axle enough to get this in. Give it a little bit of a pull and you'll be all right. Just like that. Spring's done. Hook our shock back up. The installation on this side is done. We do the same thing on the other side. Then we're going to deal with a wire to make sure the light doesn't come on on the dash panel and the installation is complete.
son. By the way, according to data from the Motorist Assurance Program, you need to replace your shocks about every 50,000 miles to maintain safety and comfort on your vehicle. The Strutmaster's Deluxe Kit already comes complete with replacement shocks to add value to your kit purchase. Contact strutmasters.com or call 866-2733 and speak to a certified suspension expert today.